First and foremost, it's the GDP number. Uh, it came in a little bit light again this quarter. Uh, more importantly, it's the fourth or fifth quarter in a row that number's been light, uh, which raises the question about competition. Uh, there's been a lot of new entrants into Squarespace recently. Shopify just last week launched a new point of sale system. Uh, PayPal just got regulatory approval for their acquisition of iZettle in the space. And so investors are concerned around a potential slowdown in Square, who's had a really strong leadership position for a long time. And the big banks, I guess, as well, fighting back on this, this area, which not only questions the, the, the volumes that they're going to be able to take, but the profitability also. Yes, uh, yeah, absolutely. I think that's probably another uh, soft spot if I'm just quickly looking through the numbers. While the company modestly raised their revenue outlook for the year, they kept adjusted EBITDA guidance uh, intact and actually widened the net income loss ex expectation for the year. Yeah. What about the other services that Deirdre mentioned that had been a source of and still continue to be a source of growth. Yeah, absolutely. Subscription and services has been the real strong point over the last year. A lot of that is things like caviar, instant deposit, cash app. But I think uh, digging into that one a little bit, while the overall number is definitely strong, it's up over 120% year on year within that square capital, uh, which is their loans to small businesses, is up meaningfully 50% year on year, which means that some of the other services decelerated. And so investors are probably a little bit more worried about that deceleration and the other services that's implied in there. How should investors be viewing this, this group then? Uh, mm -hmm. If it seems as if it's developing into very crowded, uh, sort of a zero-sum game. Yeah, look, the way we, we look at it is the single biggest trend in payments is related to e-commerce. So in, as an investor, we, you know, because for the very simple reason that virtually all e-commerce payments are made with a card. And so we look for the payments names that are be most tied to e-commerce. It's an easy way for an investor to make a bet. So PayPal is an easy one there. They're 100% e-commerce. Uh, even Visa and MasterCard, over 25% of their volume is e-commerce. That's another area where Square is a little bit behind. They're very in-store centric. Only about 10% of their volume is e-commerce. So what do we do with the stock here? Yeah, so, I mean, we're neutral on this one. We would still be in a holding pattern. Uh, we're really looking for that GDV number to re-accelerate. Square's launched a ton of great new products in the last year, but we're looking for them to up their uh, sales and marketing spend behind that uh, to, to really get, you know, get out there. They've enjoyed, in, in many ways, almost not having to sell. They have a phenomenal product, a phenomenal brand. A lot of sellers find them online, uh, but nowadays they've got a lot more Competition. We're looking actually for them to roll up their sleeves and really get out there and, and be uh, selling more aggressively and see that GDP number reaccelerate.